just a little bit. So what's all this buzz about gnats? I've seen a couple of them out here as well. Uh, David Guerrero, our guy, he stepped into the, uh, I think, what was he called? The fly zone. Yeah. <laughs> For more on these little critters. Check this. As we reach the peak of spring, central Georgia is becoming bombarded by a well-known nuisance, gnats. The tiny insects have a long history of annoying Georgians, including the residents in Perry. However, if you live in Forsyth, the number of gnats is significantly less. Why? Many Georgians chalk it up to the abundant rainfall in the southern counties. While this does help with the timing of the gnat invasion, the answer has more to do with what's in the ground. Central Georgia lies in the middle of a geologic boundary called the Fall Line, a prehistoric shoreline. It divides the Piedmont and coastal plains, which have different soil compositions and terrain. This line stretches from Columbus to Macon to Augusta. Areas north of the line will be hillier with red clay soil, while areas to the south will be flatter with more sandy-like soil. Allison Vandervoort, an associate professor of environmental science at Georgia College and State University, dives into the reasons why we see more gnats south of the fall line. Sandy soils are much easier for them to burrow down into. And so in regions with sandier soils, like our coastal plain region, again, just south of the fall line, that's where you're going to find a bunch of gnats. Therefore, the fall line is also unofficially known as the gnat line. With the recent increase in temperature and moisture, these insects aren't going anywhere anytime soon. I'm meteorologist David Guerrero, 13 WMAZ News.